shiny. <laughs> That's not gonna work. We like having notebook options, so let's have a look at another one. Hello team, today we're having a look at this journal from the Washi Tape Shop. This one came as part of the Moonlight Garden journal set, in particular the fragrance variant. So it also came with five floral washi tapes in this really freaking pretty box. Look at that foiling. If as we go through you think that this journal would be right for you, I do have a link to it in the description box below. And you can also use my code JASHY10 for 10% off your orders at the washi tape shop. We love savings! But anywho, let's have a look at the notebook. Just as a disclaimer before we get too far into it, I obviously have my own personal preferences when it comes to notebooks. So paper color, number of pages, thickness of pages, all of that kind of stuff. For instance, I prefer white pages that are pretty damn white, not ivory. I prefer thicker paper that doesn't bleed or ghost. So as we go through, any of the comments that I give are probably based in my own opinions, but I do try to make sure I'm keeping an open mind and give you guys suggestions of who this notebook would work best for. Having a look at our claims for this notebook, it tells us on the website that the notebook size is 21 by 14.6 by 1.8 centimeters. The set comes with five rolls of five meter washi tape, which are 2.7 centimeters across. The notebook itself is 160 pages with 120 GSM paper. They say it is premium paper and great for applying washi tapes. We have a flat lay design, so it lays flat when opened and the dots should align on both sides of the page. We have three ribbon bookmarks to easily mark different sections of your journal, a paper pocket storage with fabric side linings for durability, and at the time of filming this, the journal itself is $31.95 US, and the fragrance journal set, which comes with the washi tape, is $54.95 US. But as said, if you want to get yourself a discount, you can use my code. As we like to do, we are going to try and be fairly methodical with this. So starting with our structural features, in terms of the cover options, you can see that this one comes with a dark blue cover with the floral design on the bottom. They do also have another color option, though that one isn't called the Moonlight Garden Journal. That one's called the Moonbeam Garden Journal, which also has the floral design, though different flowers, and comes in a pale pink color. You can see we have a little gold emblem on the front here. And from what I can tell, the other notebook style comes with the same emblem, just a different color for the background and different florals along the bottom. This is a faux leather cover or vegan leather. We have a good sturdy elastic closure. It's not too stretchy. <laughs> and we can see that it is nicely secured to the back here. That floral pattern continues over the back. And Something interesting, you can see along the side here, I wouldn't really call it gilding because it's not shiny, but it is pink along the edges. So if we open the notebook up, you can see the paper itself is not pink. We pop our bookmarks out though, you can see we have various colors for our bookmarks. So we have a pink one, a blue one, and a kind of yellowish cream kind of color. The bookmarks are all long enough that they will stick out the bottom of the journal, which does make them suitable for being able to bookmark your pages. I know this might seem like a silly thing to comment on, but I have had journals previously where the bookmark wasn't even long enough to stick out the end, so you couldn't actually use it to flip to pages that you wanted to mark. So good to see that our bookmarks are a suitable length. As you can see, this journal does not come with a pen loop, but you could secure a pen to the journal using the elastic closure. So for instance, either just securing it under like this, if you don't mind it being horizontal, or what you can do is pull your elastic so that it goes over the front like that, and then tuck your pen in like this. Though in doing this, you are gonna put some undue pressure on both of these points. So up to you, but not my preference. I do prefer my journals to come with a pen loop. You can see with the short amount of time we had the pen in like that, we haven't had any deformation of the back cover, but user discretion advised. Opening up our journal and taking a look at the inside. So on the inside cover here, we don't have any nameplate page or anything like that. It is just left blank. 
and then opening up to our first page you can see we have those two stuck together which is pretty typical for journals so I'm not too worried about this but we've got a blank side for that cover piece and then a dot grid side opening up to the first full spread though and we'll just train the page down check for lying flat yeah, I would say that it does. You can certainly easily write along here. You do probably have to hold the page down a little bit, but that is to be expected considering it's the start of the journal. We open up to the middle, say, and again, train the page down a little. Yeah, this, this does lay flat, I would say so. When we're thinking about a book not laying flat, we're thinking something more like this, where it curves very much in the center here, so you can't actually write on that inner edge closest to the spine. This one though, very easy to write in this space. As you can see, our pages are not numbered. The darkness of the dots is pretty good, like there's a pretty good contrast between the paper itself and the dots. Having a look at the dimensions of our page though, across the page we have 13 and a half centimeters, so 27 spaces across, and vertically, we have 19 and a half spaces, so 39 spaces down. So one space extra, both vertically and horizontally compared to the Archer and Olive. Flipping to the back, so we can see the washi tape shop has their little logo here, or text logo. We do have a gusseted pocket, which, yep, like they've said, does have that kind of fabric edge, so it does seem fairly secure. It seems shorter than what I'm used to, but I'm not too sure why that is. If we compare it to the Archer and Olive one, you can see the Archer and Olive pocket comes closer to the spine than the Washi Tape Shop one does. So in terms of pocket depth, we've got about 11 and a half ish centimeters. Flipping back to the middle, training our page down, just so that we can have a look at our paper color. So as you can probably tell, this is a much more cream based color. If we compare it to a piece of white paper, this is just a regular printer paper or cartridge paper. We'll just fold that in half. So you should be able to tell that we have a pretty distinct color difference here with our cartridge paper being much more white or less saturated than the notebook pages. But as we've talked about previously, if you're the kind of person who likes to do a lot of journaling outside or you don't like your pages to be too glary in sunlight, having the yellow tone paper could be quite helpful. The paper itself is quite smooth. I'm not too sure if it's coated, but we're gonna have a look at doing a pen test in the back to see what kind of ghosting and bleeding we get, if any. So taking ourselves to the back page and then turning in one, we're gonna be putting our pen test here so that we can see what it looks like when we turn the page and we can also turn back and see what it looks like on the other side. As we typically do, I have a good range of pens and markers that we're going to put down on this one. Just while we're swatching these pens out, our secret word for today is comprehensive. And if you were wondering what the secret words were for, be sure to check out the video we have linked in the cards above. For each of the pens, I typically like to use the black or the darkest color because it's the most likely to show through. So I've written out the names of our pens along the side here. For the Zig Clean Color Dot Marker, I also put down two dots, so a smaller one and a bigger one. For the Karen Tombow Dual Brush, Crayola, and Tombow Fudnoske, I've also put a strip of color. So once over, then twice, three times, four times. Just because these are kind of pens that you might use for coloring in or go over them repeated times. Something we should really try out as a highlighter actually. So if we flip over and just gently separate these pages or kind of lay them down, there we go. And we can see a very, very faint amount of shadowing, but honestly, once you put more pen down on this page, you wouldn't be able to tell. So really, in terms of shadowing, it's actually not that bad at all. If we flip back though and see if we have any ghosting or bleeding, so we can see with the Karen marker in particular, which is very inky, we can see that one through the page. And once you go over multiple times, you do get a fair bit of ghosting almost into that bleed through possibility. And the other one we have here, this one is the Crayola super tip. So when we went over multiple times with that, so that was four times, we did get a bit of that ink dump there and that did show up. For the rest of our pens though, it's really not too bad at all. Now, one of the claims that we had on our website is that our pages were great for applying washi tapes. I'm not 
really too sure what that means, if I'm completely honest, but I'm going to try and stick a couple of washi tapes down here and then pull them up to see if our page rips. In terms of the washi tapes that actually came with this journal set, sadly I have given a couple of them away, but these three are the ones that I have left because they kind of spoke to me a bit more. This one very much reminds me of the front of the journal, that kind of design. This one's got some really pretty kind of peachy colours and some gold foiling, and this one's just a kind of simple daisy design again with some gold foiling. Actually, all of them have some gold foiling. They're really pretty tapes. When the washi tape shop offered to send this to me, I was kind of skeptical, um, if I'm completely honest. I hadn't really heard very much about their website, but their washi tapes are awesome. Like, 100% recommend. Anywho, we are going to take this one here and put that one on the page. And we're also going to grab an Archer and Olive washi tape and maybe one cheaper washi tape as well. So starting with our Archer and Olive tape and just pulling a piece off, stick that down here. Make sure it's really secure. And we'll do the same with our cheaper tape. I say cheaper because it was cheaper. And often I find that the glue on these ones can sometimes be a little more aggressive. But rub that one down as well. And for our washi tape shop one, you can see I've used a little bit of tape to actually secure this to itself because it is paper backed to make sure that the stickiness on the underside of the tape doesn't pull off any of the foiling on the piece of tape underneath it. And we'll just take off a piece of this, say about yay much. Resecure it with our tiny piece of tape and stick that to our page as well. There we go. So, making sure they're all good and secure. So in testing how well this tape removes, we're going to be kind of aggressive about it. We'll pull a corner up for each of them. And we're going to rip the tape off pretty quickly. Now, I will say this tape is obviously wider than those ones, so it's not a completely fair test, but we'll see. So, Archer and Olive tape. Alrighty, so you can see that one did rip the surface of our page off. This one here. Yep, also ripped the surface of our page off. And this one here. Oh, gotta actually grab it. There we go. Also ripped the surface of our paper off. So they all fail, I guess you could say, the hyper aggressive test. But let's try doing this with a karma approach. Can we get them to pull off nicely if we are a little bit more chill about it? I mean, honestly, if I had to pull up washi tape, I wouldn't pull it off like it's a band-aid. Like, that's not how I would operate this thing, but still. There we go. So, same idea, push them all down. Two, nice and secure. So we're still going to be less careful than I typically would be, but we're just going to pull it up a little more slowly. So taking our corners off again. We can find the corner and then taking a kind of gentle backwards approach. All right, so we do have some peeling up with the Archer and Olive tape. We have some peeling up with the tape that was kind of the cheaper one. And some, but considerably less pulling up with the tape from the washi tape shop. As we said, this is not a very scientific test, but if you are going to be sticking and then pulling up washi tape, just take your time with it. Don't rip it off like a band-aid, and if you are in a hurry, at least the washi tape shop washi tape didn't seem to do too much damage. Now, the question is, who do I think this notebook is right for? So, very much if you're the type of person who prefers to have more yellow-toned pages or more ivory-toned pages, then this journal would be a good option. Also, if you're into florals, I'm not so much into florals. I prefer just an emblem and then one kind of solid color on my notebooks. But if you like some cover decoration, this is super pretty. The fact that it also comes with a washi tape set that can help for easier decoration is really cool too. So if you want to get more decorative in your journaling, then getting the box set might be good for you. Given that we have three bookmarks here, if you're the type of person who's going to want to mark off certain sections, in particular a few sections, then three bookmarks might be something you're looking for. But if you prefer your paper thicker, whiter, with page numbers, or enjoy having a pen loop on your notebook, then possibly this one isn't for you. 
Another solid notebook option, but as I said, it doesn't quite align with my personal preferences. If you thought it sounded right for you though, remember you can use my code JASHY10 for 10% off the washi tape shop, whether that be notebooks or washi tapes. And honestly, now I really just have a craving to go buy more washi tape. <laughs> Hopefully this was helpful, and as always team, thank you for watching. Until next time, bye!